All right, so if you're not used to very cold temperatures this morning, might have been kind of extra. A shock to the system. Not the coldest we've seen. December 11th, we hit 31 in Austin. This morning was 33, but yeah, cold is cold. We're going to see additional days with unseasonably cold nights but the afternoons will be nice. We've got some pleasant weather ahead. And for those of you who are fans of 70 degrees, the one day when we could soar to 70 just so happens to be the last day of the year. Hey, I don't know about you, but the cedar fever is kicking and it is not a good thing. And unfortunately, I don't have rain in this next seven days. Our next rain chance is one week from tomorrow. So next Wednesday, in 2024. Until that happens, every single time we see the winds pick up, that will fan the cedar pollen. Today's count high 394, the second highest so far this season. There's going to be a weak front that pushes through overnight, a reinforcing front tomorrow, and then a stronger front that pushes through New Year's Eve night, Sunday night. By Monday, that's when I'm expecting probably the highest cedar counts we have seen thus far. 45 degrees outside right now after a high of only 59. We've only had six days so far this month that have been below average today being one of them. Currently it's 45 Mason, 41 in Harper, 44 in Blanco and 48 in Thorndale. By early tomorrow morning, right around sunrise, look for another freeze out in the western hill country. We could see some frosty conditions in places like Georgetown and right around 38 degrees in Austin. The average low this time of year, of year is about 42. So we will be unseasonably cool for the foreseeable future. Finally, looking like a little bit more of a wintry forecast minus any wintry precip. Tomorrow afternoon high with abundant sunshine up to 62 degrees. That is right on par with the average for this time of year. So here's that front that's going to be pushing through. It's very weak. It's just basically going to shift our winds, which are currently out of the south and pull them to the northwest. Then as we head towards your early morning, we're talking 30s to start off the day. Afternoon high 62 reinforcing cold front comes in, meaning we keep the 30s in place each morning and high temperature will be a little bit cooler by Thursday, only in the upper 50s. Then Friday could be even chillier still in the mid 30s in Austin, paving the way for Friday afternoon when we'll see even slightly cooler conditions. I did mention I don't really have any meaningful rain in the forecast. As you can see, two different computer models, lots of zeros on this map. I do think we've got a shot, though, one week from tomorrow. So until then, I guess the biggest attraction will be if you've got New Year's Eve plans. Right now, it's looking like we could soar to 70 for New Year's Eve day, but then the cold front pushes through on a dry note New Year's Eve night and by 2024 January 1st only 57 degrees. We'll be right back.